Well, it happens every morning all over the country. Parents send their kids off to school to learn. But what about social and emotional learning, self-care and inclusion? So we have motivational speaker Diana Patton and State Senator Teresa Fetter. They join us this morning with how we can help our schools rise above so much negativity yeah. and static learning. Yeah. So uh, thanks so much Thank for you. joining uh, me this morning. Really important when we talk about the educational system and we're not just talking about um, reading and arithmetic. Mm -hmm. We're talking about some of the emotional things. So what is your message uh, for uh, this uh, rising of education? Well, first of all, every educator needs to care and connect with themselves so that they can care and connect with others so that they can endow that respect and um, social and emotional learning to their kids. And I'm not speaking out of school here. The Department of Education has adopted social and emotional learning as one of the four domains of learning. And in fact, equity, which is inclusion, which looks at how are the kids coming to school mm -hmm. and really looking at the whole child, that's one of the three strategic areas that the Department of Education is supporting. So the RISE program really takes all of those components, puts it all together, and comes into a school and says, let's look at our strategy. Let's help our educators. Let's help our students. And let's find that systemic change that allows our kids to rise above these issues and so they can be successful in life. Nice. So when it uh, come to, came to uh, coming up with the RISE yeah. program. What was the thinking behind that term, RISE? Me and my family <laughs> and my kids, or my, me and my family, my sisters, and my brother who unfortunately took his life in 1994 Sorry. due to a lot of things, but bullying and, and what we dealt with with our own uh, issues of abuse in our home, no one really knew what was going on behind the scenes with our family. You see, no one asked me, how are you doing, Diana? How can we help you? And that was a tragic thing. And so I never, ever forget my younger self and my five yeah, older sisters. That keeps at the center of my mind. And so that's what brought this forward to today. Awesome. So, Senator uh, Fetter, so uh, tell me uh, your role in this, just looking at the educational system and looking at uh, making sure that inclusion and, and looking at kids' emotions of uh, being in, included into the education system. What does this mean to you? Well, as a classroom teacher for almost 20 years and now legislator for 20 years, we voted for that law to be you know, enacted. And we know how important it is to have our children come to school ready to learn. And they're coming with so many issues and problems that we know about. Mm -hmm. So we need to create an environment where, number one, children want to lo be loved. Mm -hmm. And number two, they want to learn. So we want to create that environment for everyone in the school district, in the system, and the community to understand, you know, if there's something going on, we're going to ask you what's happening. Mm -hmm. You know, deal with it. Awesome. and really help our children tap into their talents and help them grow into you know their dreams of what they would like to see themselves so we really want to create that environment I'm here to support Diana who is a terrific individual we're gifted you know as a community because she's here mm -hmm. and she's going to help us so we should really surround this issue with people who are passionate about it and so you know, we want to launch this into our community and help our community understand that we're here to help our children. So you mentioned something key, mm -hmm. uh, kids being able to live out their dreams. Yes. So starting uh, with the RISE program now, how is this going to help uh, kids into adulthood? Mm -hmm. Well, they're able to live in that safe space um, in their classroom. Mm -hmm. You know, have the support from the classroom teacher and have the teacher supported in every way, shape and form so they can do their job. You know, they want to educate our children. They love our children. So that's, I think, key for us to really put those supports around the teachers and the classroom and the environment so children can flourish and tap into their talents and develop them. And we need that for sure. So you do. You have an event uh, coming up next week as well, right? Yes, yeah, Stand Up for Public Education. It's at the Toledo Downtown Library. Of 5:30 to 7, and we have just a wonderful rollout of understanding what's going on with our Ed Choice Scholar Voucher Program, and that we need to support our public um, education systems. And so the legislature is dealing with that now. We expanded and exploded without any input, and it's having devastating impact on our budgets. And how can people support RISE? Well, people can definitely support RISE by sharing this message with their educators and with their superintendents, board members. We have classes that we can help 
educators get involved with our classes on uh, at my website, risewithdiana.com. Mm -hmm. I will have future events. We actually have an event tomorrow that we are going to be hosting, but we have, will be having public forums as well. So it's really helping making certain that all of our schools are prepared. And I have that program, RISE program, so go to risewithdiana.com dot com and look at some of the educational classes that we're offering. And Diana, you mentioned your uh, event tomorrow. Yes. Uh, can people still come or is it sold out? Or? Yeah, it is sold out, but there, as always happens, individuals don't come. So if you do come, it's at the Registry Bistro. Yes, um, it is a free event. Um, and of course, there are sponsorship opportunities available. <laughs> so yes, we would love for you to come because this is a community event. Uh, this is where we're asking the community to come alongside education to make certain they have what they need to rise up. Awesome. And uh, Diana mentioned off camera she's from Fostoria, so yeah. just looking to uh, help out in her local community and something I'm sure mm -hmm. uh, both of you ladies uh, encourage all yes. to do. So thanks so Absolutely. much for joining me this Thank morning. Thank you so much. Now, when we come